The most common causes of pollution that many people in Kampala are familiar with are emissions from factories, car exhaust fumes, and dust from dirt roads. However, according to scientists from Makere University School of Computing and Sciences, burning rubbish tops the list of major causes of pollution in various suburbs of Kampala. And for decades, Kampala has had only two air pollution monitoring devices, one at the American Embassy, which is not accessible, and another one at Mulago Hospital. Makere University Air Core Air Quality Monitoring Project has won a grant worth $1.3 million, approximately 4.8 billion shillings, from Google to monitor air pollution in Kampala and beyond. One of the people behind the project shared some of the signs of a worrying situation in Kampala. Why do we have a lung institute in, in Uganda? Because there, there have been studies that have shown that we have high cases of children suffering from chronic illnesses with their lungs. We have not had studies to show us which portents cause that, and that's what he has come in to do. But when we, when we launched the lung institute, the question at hand was, how shall we detect where these cases, what, what is causing this and where the case is coming from? The experts say that 50 devices of this kind will be installed in Kampala to monitor air pollution. However, there has been an ongoing pilot study where some of the monitoring devices are fixed on border borders since they ply different routes and areas around the city. For certain places where we have monitors, we've been generating uh, a monthly reports. We send them to at the schools, for instance, to tell them, look, this is how the pollution levels are. Interestingly, we are already driving some insights. For instance, we see pollution levels tend to pick up when parents are dropping kids to school in the morning. Currently, the records show that Kampala, Mbali, and Kasese are the most polluted cities in Uganda. If we have this gadget that you can uh, take to your home or in your neighborhood, uh, communities then can be able to actually uh, cause action to the policymakers or the city authorities with, with data. The Makere University School of Computing and Sciences will be coming up with periodic reports on air pollution in Kampala and other parts of the country, but it will take the government effort and also the citizenry to fix the problem of air pollution that is perilous to human life. Sudibi Yaruhanga, NTV Makere University.